Morning everybody, this is Daniel here with Propelio and I'm excited to have Ace here with me today. We're going to be discussing the activities that every real estate investor should be doing on a weekly basis and I'm going to focus predominantly on newer real estate investors, somebody that's not been in the business long, that might be on a limited budget, but they're still trying to break into this industry and trying to create a new path for their lives. I'm going to break down some of the things that we can be doing on a limited budget to get that business moving forward and how you should design your week to make sure that that is successful. So stay tuned right after this short commercial break, and I look forward to talking to you. Propelio TV is sponsored by Noble Mortgage and Investments, Batskip Tracing, CreativeCapital.com, and Life in There. All right, everybody, we're back here with Ace, man. I want to say huge, huge thanks for all of the help that you gave us at the We Live event there with Max Maxwell. Not only yourself, Casey and Jason Della, Marquise Johnson, uh, Ronnie Hale, uh, Joel Lee, all of y'all just came in and provided much love, much support. And one of the things that you mentioned while we were there is like you wanted you knew, you wanted to be on Propelio TV someday. Yeah. And yeah. If, if if that was something I could do to pay you back, then I'm doing it. So man, tenfold. this show is yours today, man. You've got my time. You've got my ear. You've got everything I can possibly do for you today. So part of this was sitting down with you beforehand and saying, hey, what can I do to help your business? And you kind of laid out some of the things you were struggling with. And my goal today is to make sure that I can do everything I can possibly do to get you moving in the right direction. So do you mind introducing yourself to everybody here that's watching right now? Give a little bit of who is Ace and what can we do to help you? Yeah, my name is actually Shannon Hamilton. My friends call me Ace from Longview, Texas. Uh, came to Dallas, you know, to pursue what everybody pursues to get out of a small town country, you know, to have bigger dreams and, and, and work, you know. And so basically right now, just out of my own, I've been in real estate for about 15 years now, being in title work, loan officer, and now jumping into wholesaling. So I just learned some stuff about you I never knew. And that was you've done title work and mm -hmm. loan processing. Mm -hmm. So like, were you an escrow assistant, escrow officer? Escrow or assistant. Escrow assistant. Mm -hmm. So you understand curative title work and stuff. I'm yes, sir. Oh, wow. So you've got some advantages there that I didn't know about before we hopped on, on this call. Oh, yeah. Uh, so if you've got some understanding of curative title work, maybe that's a question, something, something I can stew on a little bit, but let's see if we can tie that in here. Cause okay. with you understanding curative title work, that might help you out finding some, finding some sellers. Yeah. I went from it uh, being a HUD to going to CDs and okay. so, you know, you saw, you saw some transition. Yeah, there. I saw the transition, worked in post-closing, man. So I did it all from front to back. So it's. That's actually exciting for me. So let me think about that through this through this conversation a little bit. So for everybody that's watching right now, let me explain a little bit how I plan on making this go down. Uh, you hit me up with a bunch of questions beforehand, kind of explaining what your week looked like and how so you're having some struggles here and there. So I've got that thought process committed. But what I want to do today is hit you up with the main activities that we should be doing all week long to making sure that we're moving forward with something. I believe most importantly, if we're starting out in this business, we're almost always going to be what I'm going to call a solopreneur. Yeah. We're going to be running by ourselves because we don't have the money to hire people. We can't just go out there and hire 15 people and, right. and do what some of these bigger boys are doing. So I can't teach you what the bigger boys are doing. I'm going to need to start out with what, with what a solopreneur should be doing. Because my goal is if I teach you what a solopreneur should be doing and you do that long enough, then we can start adjusting into what some of these big boys are doing because we've already stacked the capital up that we need to make this happen. So... Give me some feedback on what your week looks like right now. Like, let's just, your average week, what are you doing on a daily activity? To be honest with you, watching Propelio. All right. <laughs> well, let's get, let's I'm, get. I'm in the academy. I'm, I'm basically, you know, because my thing is fear of stepping out and messing something up really bad to where I can't get back to it, you know? Let me pause on that, because I, I want to start drawing these fears out of you, because it's okay. these fears that are going to be stopping you, yeah. and, and we got to overcome these fears. What are some of those big fears that you're, you're, you're struggling to overcome? What are, what are, what, well, give me this worst case scenario that's playing out in your mind that says, I shouldn't do this because I don't have X yet. I would say, I have the knowledge, and I and you you've heard of analysis paralysis, yes, sir. right? And I think I struggle with that because it's like once I'm in learning something, it's like I learn something new every day, and like I should I can use that, or I see something like I'm glad I didn't do that. Just like giving an offer over the phone, you okay. know, just something as, as simple as that to. <clears throat> 
It's like I don't want to, you know, talk to a customer and end up losing that lead. Okay. What I'm going to encourage you to do, and I want you to do this, and it might, it might, I, I want to see how, I want to see how you feel about this. Right. I need you to fail, and I yeah. need you to fail a lot. Fail forward. I, 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 it's, it's cliche. It sounds, you know, like blah. I want you to fail at least a hundred times a day. And if I can get you to fail a hundred times a day, you got those kinds of odds working with you, eventually one of them is going to succeed. Yeah. And so, the crazy thing is, that's what, that's something that I know. I know I won't learn it out of a book. I know it takes you doing this business okay. to get out and fail mm -hmm. to get out there and be successful. That's how you learn. Because some of the things that I've done so far, I failed and learned, okay, well, I know not to do that step. I know I need to move in this direction and go that way to get it done. Okay. And so, exactly. I need. I just need to get out there and just fall on my face, to be honest with you. Well, much love that you 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 see that and yeah. you accept that. Because one of the things that we were, we were taught through school and through our life is that failure is bad. Right. And if you're, if you're stepping into the entrepreneur world and there, that, that world comes with its own inherent risks. And one of those risks is that you, you have to fail. And a lot of people getting started, they want to know all of the answers before they do something because they're so afraid of failing yeah. that they do a lot of due diligence, analysis, a lot of all of this up front. And all of that does is accumulate into busy work. What I need to be focusing on throughout the entire week, and this goes to everybody that's out there watching right now. If you are a solopreneur getting started, there's a million things to get done. And with there being a million things to get done, it can be overwhelming. Well, I need to get LLC set up. I need to get accountants. I need to get this. I need to get that. Busy work. There's one thing and one thing only throughout this week that's going to get you to the next level. That's prospecting. I need to make sure that you're spending your entire week prospecting. And I'm going to break this down after a little bit. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to build out a calendar for you. We're going to build out a calendar together that will kind of lay out your predominant activities that we need to be doing as we're moving forward with this. But prospecting should be first and foremost 90% of all of your activities. So right now, prior to us hopping on, on, on air here, we talked a little bit and you were talking about some of the activities that you were doing today. You said you were going into Propelio. Propelio would show you all the stuff that you yes. needed to be doing. What I need you to do is break that down and pull back even yet again another step further. And I'm going to give you some advice that my wife gave me. Right. So my wife gave me this advice when we first got into business together. She saw how scatterbrained I was. I was staying busy as all hell, man. Like I was yeah. working around the clock and I was busy, but I was busy. I wasn't making money. I was busy. So let's 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 figure out what happened there. So what my wife did with me is she set me down and because she, she knows how bad I have ADD, like it's extremely difficult for me to maintain concentration on anything. Yeah. What she ended up doing with me, though, is sitting me down with little literally I have a spiral notebook that's about yay big. It's just a little bitty spiral notebook and it stays on my desk. And what I do is at the beginning of the day, I write down all of the tasks that need to be done and I put it on that spiral notebook. And that's good, but that does me no good if that spiral notebook does not get me paid. So then what we would do is we'd do an activity where we'd look down at everything that needed to be done that day, and we'd classify it into three, re three, three, three areas. Area number one is I activities that will get me paid. Because I can't stay in business if I don't get paid. So those are the most important things. I don't care about LLC. I don't care about accounting. I don't care about taxes. I don't care about bookkeeping. I don't care about a damn thing except for get me paid. All right. Get me paid. So that's activity number one. And I organize. I look at everything that's on my list that needed to get done today. And everything that gets me paid moves to the top. All right. Now then I've got two other buckets that I look at after that. And the next two are things that have to get done and things that I want to get done. Like things that I might want to get done is organize my desk. But sometimes I might go in and start my day and the very first thing I do is organize my desk. Well, if I spend 45 minutes organizing my desk, guess what I didn't do? I didn't get paid. Right. I didn't get paid. So what I end up doing is like things that have to get done are like, uh, let's, let's take a look at that. Things that have to get done are gonna be, you know what, I, I, need, I need to file my taxes. No matter what, I have to file my taxes. But whenever I really look at things, what's more important? Me cashing a check or filing my taxes? I appreciate you checking out that clip. If you want to see hundreds of hours of content just like that covering topics like subject to, wholesaling, pre-foreclosure, 
the ins and outs of all of the different aspects that you need as a real estate investor to perform in this business, the information that you need to take your business to the next level, check out Papelio.com's Academy, content that is available absolutely at no cost to you, step-by-step, -step, no upsells, true content that'll help you perform in this business.